Hey guys, welcome back to Get Smart with Rory, once again bringing you Last Week in Science. Before we begin, I want to congratulate the U.S. for rejoining the World Health Organization and Paris Climate Accords. Regardless of whatever your personal views on the issues are, I think that it's very important that the United States be part of the world conversation rather than trying to do their own thing, so kudos on that. Moving into research, there's a new study that shows that people's sleep habits are related to the phase of the moon. Specifically, that as the moon becomes more full, people tend to go to bed later and get less sleep per night. And in very rural areas without access to artificial light, this kind of makes sense because we know that having increased light at night delays the onset of sleep. But the weird thing with this study is that it shows that even people in highly urban areas with ready access to artificial light are still affected by the moon's phase. So just a little bit of interesting thing there. Moving to my favorite science of the week, there is a new study on the naked mole rat. Naked mole rats, for those unaware, being maybe my favorite mammal, actually, because they are the only mammal who have unlocked the eusocial trait. That is, they work by a kind of high mind under a queen with several workers, like you would see for bees or ants. And within the colony, we see that they recognize each other by their dialect, how they chirp at each other. And all of the naked mole rats from a given colony, apparently, have a very standard chirp, which is different from chirps from a different colony. This chirp is matched to the queen's chirp, and when a queen passes away, you see the uniformity of the dialect dissolve and reemerge when a new queen is introduced, whether that's naturally or by us swapping queens out of the colony and so on. Finally, ending as I like to do on a high note, we have the first successful artificial cornea transplant performed on a 78-year-old man who was previously functionally blind, but now has restored vision to where he can see family and recognize numbers. And this is obviously great news for many people who could regain a significant degree of vision, but are unable to use traditional cornea transplants for whatever reason. This transplant, performed as part of the Cornet K-Pro medical trials, involving 10 patients selected for their inability to have a regular corneal transplant or who have had multiple failed surgeries in the past. As always, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and consider subscribing so you never miss out. And until next time, see ya.